Hey, good morning, everybody. Just thought I'd do a quick update here. I just rolled into the office, and uh, it's a nice, crisp morning out there, and I'm just sitting here basking in the heat. Don't want to get out. <laughs> so, um, since the last time I made a video, uh, I was back down in our target area, had driven around, seen a few different uh, pieces of vacant land, uh, some of them listed, some of them not. And so, uh, what I've been doing since then, I've been sending out LOIs. Uh, for those of you don't, that don't know, that's a letter of intent to purchase. It's a non-binding agreement that just spells out some of the terms, you know, that you're looking for, price and uh, and date of closing and due diligence and some of that stuff. But it's just a, a non-binding letter. So sometimes I send those out to brokers. Sometimes I don't. It just depends. Some some of them still like to use them. Some don't. But so I sent out some uh, LOIs. I sent out three of them. Uh, one was to a piece of property. It was really a lot more than we needed. It's about 28 acres, which is even larger than our original parcel. Um, but uh, the idea hopefully was that the uh, seller was going to work with us and be able to carve that up. So unfortunately, they responded. Uh, the seller's not really interested in carving up that piece. So that's just it's just too big a piece and really to capture the entire thing at the uh, price per acre they wanted um, just wasn't going to work out for us. So that one was kind of a bust. I sent out an LOI on another one, a nice corner piece, uh, uh, a couple of intersecting highways, um, but it, it didn't go through either. They, they essentially changed their mind. I mean, they decided they were going to use the land for something else, another tax advantageous uh, purpose. They, he really basically changed his mind on selling and he didn't, wasn't going to tell me why. Um, so uh, yeah, so there's that one. And then uh, there's a third one that is uh, roughly six acres and uh, it's, it's uh, in a fairly decent area. Again, these are all within the same five mile radius as the feasibility study. So I'm gonna eventually have the fe feasibility study reworked uh, according you know, to where the target parcel is, but uh, the numbers are roughly still the same. And so um, got those three out. The third one we're still waiting to hear back from. Hopefully he'll back from that today, so I'm not sure. but. Uh, I'll give you another update if I hear from them. So hopefully that one goes through, and uh, you know we'll we'll have a piece to to move forward on here. Um, <clears throat> also got some of the initial elevations back, some of the building uh, renderings from the design build design company, and uh, right now we're looking at somewhere between um, 800 900 units. We saw a floor plan, uh, a three level facility, and uh, it's somewhere. Uh, roughly 95,000 rentable square feet, I believe, off the top of my head. Um, and so, looks nice, looks good. Um, you know, we'll, we'll go back and forth with them and sort of tweak some things here soon, but hopefully, you know, uh, we'll have a piece of land to put it on. <laughs> so, uh, that's the ultimate goal. Um, and so, yeah, uh, oh, and, and I actually had a, a letter out to another place, and not an LOI, but just a letter. It was a piece of vacant land. And uh, I just looked it up, found it on the, the GIS, uh, got an address, and sent out a letter. I mean, it was a, a nice piece of land, and uh, but there was no contact information associated with it. So I sent a letter. I mean, whether we'll hear from them, I, mean, I don't know, maybe never, but that's another. Uh, so I had a few little um, lines in the water there trying to get something, and uh, we'll just keep on moving forward. So that's where we're at. So if you guys have any questions, any comments about the process uh, that we're going through right now, uh, just leave them down in the comments. Uh, I'd be happy to respond. So. You guys have a great day.